Day. Welcome back. It's a big birthday for the Greater Twin Cities Youth Symphonies. The orchestra is celebrating its 50th with a very special collaboration, and the video just dropped early this morning. Take a look. My goodness, it kind of takes your breath, breath away. That's the orchestra performing Don McLean's Vincent Starry Starry Night at the Traveling Van Gogh Exhibit in Minneapolis. And just to give it a little more star power, they teamed up with recording artist Phil Thompson to help make that happen. Joining us live is Phil Thompson and the orchestra's concert master, Ruth Connery, a junior at Adina High School. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us. So tell us about the, the Greater Twin Cities Youth Symphony. It's composed of top orchestra students from all over the state. How do they get to be part of this group? How large is it? Yes, so Gitsi serves um, more than, I think, a thousand students right now, ages eight through 18. Um, you don't have to be extremely talented or extremely experienced to even audition. There is a place for any musician. So that's awesome. And it, it sounds amazing. Uh, Phil, talk about this experience, um, like getting to work with these uh, essentially students and the youth. And how, how did you get involved? Where did this whole thing come from? Yeah, well, I am just so excited with this project because, you know, for me, I've always loved doing these larger than life music videos. So I've done music videos in like the ice castles in Stillwater. I've done them, you know, on the cliffs of Malibu and, you know, really all over the globe. But when I heard that this Van Gogh exhibit was coming to Minneapolis, I was always a fan of the song Starry Starry Night uh, that Don McLean put out, you know, 50 years ago. And I was like, man, if we could do an instrumental orchestral arrangement of that song in here, it would just be like bringing a soundtrack to life. So it was really just everything kind of came together. And what's crazy is that song Starry Starry Night that Don McLean put out is actually turning 50 years old this month. And obviously, uh, the Greater Twin Cities Youth Symphonies is turning 50 years old this year, too. So it's pretty cool. Oh, win-win. That is very cool. So the group rehearsed at Orchestra Hall before filming in the space. Talk about how long you practiced for and also filming in that space. Did it pose any challenges? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Sorry, so go on. Ruth, well, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, these students are so talented that you know, they showed up, they had never heard, you know, the piano arrangement, they'd never heard, you know, a lot of them, even the original song. So, you know, we got together at Orchestra Hall to rehearse this. And I mean, they, the first time they played it was amazing. Ruth, I don't know how tough it was for you guys to learn this song, but you guys were incredible. Oh, thank you. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't Shostakovich, but it was really fun to put together um, something that wasn't classical. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a little old, huh? She's humble. <laughs> Uh, Ruth, what, what instrument do you play? I play violin. And how, when, when did you start playing violin? I started when I was four in a Suzuki program. My goodness. Wow. Now, is, is that a lot like, uh, like your, we'll call them coworkers or your, uh, the, the other students in, in uh, the orchestra? I mean, did you all start at four or three or two or one? <laughs> um, a lot of people start pretty young in those who are in symphony. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you, you start early and, and you get a whole lot better from there. What was the experience like being surrounded? I, obviously, you're busy, you know, playing music, but were you able to kind of take in the ambiance and, and the whole scene and really kind of soak it in? Yeah, I think it was a wonderful way to experience the Van Gogh exhibit. Just um, listening to everyone else playing and kind of soaking up the art. And what do you hope the people who maybe go see the exhibit or, or listen to this, what do you hope is their biggest takeaway? Just that um, young artists in this area are doing things that are interesting and maybe would be encouraged to go see our concerts. And Phil, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Uh, be honest, so w when you were recording this and you were at the Van Gogh uh, exhibit, you, you explained that you've done a lot of these uh, on-scenes exhibits, so to speak. 
Um, right. What what was this like ranked? Was this was this like super cool, like top three, or was it like, yeah, this is neat, but you know, I've done better. No, you know, Cody, this is truly, you know, my, I mean, take away even music videos as a musician. I think one of my favorite experiences of all time together, because it was for me the first time I got to collaborate with an orchestra and to be in this space that's larger than life. And so many, you know, community members had to come together. Like when you look at the crew and you look at, you know, all the businesses that helped to support this with, you know, linen effects you know donating chairs to be here or you know cove restaurants having you know their white piano bringing you know that here because you know none of it was here it's a beautiful exhibit but you know all these people had to come together as over 100 people to make this happen and to be in this space it was like creating a soundtrack you know really from ourselves i mean it was just an unbelievable experience and i mean i'm just so proud to be a part of it but obviously to collaborate with the with these students i mean it was just really an amazing experience and speaking of that, it's actually it actually dropped this morning. It's on iTunes and Spotify, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So the song itself, the actual recording that we did, um, is on iTunes and Spotify, so you can go listen to that. And obviously, the music video itself is on YouTube right now. And yeah, literally went live this morning. And if you see it and you're like, wow, I need to see the immersive Van Gogh exhibit, this is going to be here through April now. And uh, they're still doing like yoga activities on the weekends here. And there's so many things going on within this amazing exhibit. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. If you haven't seen it or anybody, you really need to come down and check out this space. That's amazing. Very and neat. It's amazing music and amazing background. And I can't wait to see the video for myself. Phil and Ruth, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, and good luck to you both. Yeah, thank you be so very, much. very proud. Congratulations.